1934 is when the Federal Reserve actually finally took total control of the United States monetary system, and that's when they said it is now a success, because this is a symbol, this is an emblem of a secret society. A secret society of Freemasons called the Illuminati, the German Bavarian Illuminati. They were a, a secret society founded in the south of, in the south of, uh, it, of uh, Germany. They were called the Illuminati, the Illuminated Ones, the Enlightened Ones. 1776 was when this secret society actually formed itself into a secret society and put itself into operation. They were the basis for what we call today in our country the Bavarian um, Illuminati was the basis for what we call today the Colombian faction. The Colombian faction of the Illuminati came here right after this government was formed and that's where we get today Columbia, Columbia, uh, this Columbia Space Shuttle, Columbia Movies, Columbia Television, you know, Columbia Records, everything, Columbia University. Uh, as a matter of fact, Columbia TV, Columbia Broadcasting System, CBS. What is the symbol for CBS? It's the all-seeing eye. And that's why our government is in the District of Columbia, because these guys own our government. They print our money, and they own not only the government, but they own you. You are their property. So, in other words, these guys print the money, they run the country, and they own you, and they own everything around them. And so they make the laws, and that's why they can decide who can kill who, and who can get away with who, and who can get away with whatever, because they make the laws and they decide. Well, I was uh, in the FBI for 27 and a half years, and at the time of my retirement in 1979, I was the senior special agent in charge of the FBI Los Angeles office. I developed information personally about just extensive corruption in the government, uh, not only at the federal level, but all the way down to the city and state level across this country. I have information about corrupt judges, corrupt law enforcement, uh, prosecutors, um, county officials, uh, judges. It involves uh, drugs, involves pornography, called, involves prostitution, uh, it involves the cults, a pedophilia. The, the bottom line is to take over the, the country and the world. For what though? Power, greed. Uh, this goes back over 200 years, back to 1776, with the establishment of an organization known as the Illuminati. And if your listeners don't know what the Illuminati is, they need to run down to the library and look it up and do some research. Because in, uh, on May the 1st, 1776, a fellow named Adam Weishaupt, uh, German, set forth 25 goals at the request of uh, the Rothschild group uh, that they needed to uh, initiate in order to take over the world. We're talking about destroy the sovereignty of countries and destroy religions. And that's where it really started in modern day. And right today, uh, believe it or not, and we have the documentation for this, we are probably 90%, their goals have probably been filled at, at the great rate of about 90%. This Illuminati, this group who called themselves the Enlightened Ones, had gained positions of power through control of the banking system. The Illuminati was founded on May 1st, 1776, by Adam Weishaupt, a professor at Ingolstadt University. Weishaupt obviously had been a serious student of the occult, for many of its bizarre features and symbols were incorporated into his organization. Weishaupt had been active in the Masonic Lodges of Germany, and found in them the perfect vehicle for recruiting into his secret order, which he described publicly as the highest level of Freemasonry. The Illuminati was formally incorporated into the Masonic Lodges at the Congress of Wilhelmstadt in 1780. There were eight conspiratorial rings within rings advancing from the outermost novice inward to Rex or King. The King, of course, was Weishaupt himself, who had adopted the code name Spartacus. Those in the outer rings were told that the grand purpose of the order was to make of the human race without any distinction of nation, condition, or profession, one good and happy family. But by the time the member had advanced to the level of presbyter or priest, his oath of absolute secrecy and obedience had become deadly serious. 
Only then was he allowed finally to see the ultimate goal of the order. It was the destruction of all religion and the destruction of all independent governments, replaced by a new world order, a world government ruled from behind the scenes by the Illuminated.